The next most common mistake I see with elimination diets is that people don't neglect their gut, but maybe don't take the steps to intentionally heal their gut as much as they possibly could. Let's face it, we live in 2020 in the modern world. Who doesn't have some amount of gut stuff going on or dysbiosis or leaky gut? So A, it's not going to hurt any of us. We live in a society and a world now where leaky gut is just going to happen more frequently. But if you are a person for whom foods are having a negative effect on your health or you're suspicious of a food sensitivity, intolerance, or an allergy, you can bet your bottom dollar that you have at least some degree of leaky gut. Now, I know some of you are going to chime in that I got tested for leaky gut. I don't have it. I'll do a video in the future about the different types of tests for leaky gut syndrome and the pros and cons of all of them. Not all of them are super reliable. And I think also just trusting that the gut is the center of most of this and working on that anyway, I think would really behoove a lot of people. Um, I tend to recommend things that are less allergenic or less provoking for people with IBS and SIBO since I work with those folks so much. So some of my favorite leaky gut healer uppers are L-glutamine. You could get it as a powder with nothing else added. It's just a plain white powder in a jug. I get mine from either Biotics Research or Claire. There's other good brands available too. And you could dose pretty darn high with that. Start low and then gradually work your way up. But sometimes I get people up to about 30 grams a day on L-glutamine alone. Another one I really like that's hypoallergenic and very well tolerated is zinc carnosine. Not just your run-of-the-mill zinc citrate or other forms of zinc, but zinc carnosine has even been shown to heal ulcers which is like leaky gut on super steroids. If it can heal an ulcer, it can heal your leaky gut. So that's another one that's really well tolerated. You can get it in a capsule oftentimes. And then last but not least, I also really like glycine. Glycine is also available as just a freestanding supplement with nothing else in it. It's another sort of like building block for the body. It's deficient in the American diet and a lot of westernized diets. And you can get it from things like bone broth, but it's actually a very pleasant tasting and very cheap powder. So you can get glycine and glutamine, mix them together in a weird little slurry and drink that down and you've got yourself a really nice, pretty reasonably priced leaky gut healer upper.